In this video, we are going to talk about 10 best stocks to buy to protect against inflation in 2022. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. Realty Income Corporation 22 Hedge Fund Holders Realty Income Corporation is a retail that owns 11,200 commercial properties across 70 industries. Over 1,000 clients lease the company's retail assets in the U.S., PR, U.K., and Spain. The corporation has issued 624 regular monthly dividends in 53 years. The stock yields 4.62% ahead as of June 17th. Realty Income Corporation is a stock to consider during inflationary situations because it is not sensitive to supply chain restrictions and has a history of expanding monthly dividends. Realty Income Corporation boosted its monthly dividend on June 14th. It's the 116th dividend increase since 1994. The July 15th Common Stock Dividend is due to owners of record on July 1st, 2022. Number 9. Prologist Incorporated 37 Hedge Fund Holders Prologist Incorporated focuses on high-barrier, high-growth markets. Prologist reported first quarter profits on April 19th. FFO was $1.09, 2 cents above forecasts. The company's $1.08 billion revenue, up 5.4% year over year, missed estimates by $12.36 million. Prologist Incorporated is another REIT to consider for an inflation hedge because it's an industry leader and dividend payer. On May 5th, the firm announced a $0.79 cent quarterly cash dividend for investors of record on June 16th. The stock yields 2.83% as of June 17th. Prologist Incorporated stated on June 13th that it has entered into a merger agreement with Duke Realty. Prologist Incorporated would purchase Duke Realty for $26 billion in all stock. Prologist Incorporated will increase its footprint in Southern California, New Jersey, South Florida, Chicago, Dallas, and Atlanta. By Q4 2022, the merger should be complete. Wells Fargo analyst Blaine Heck cut Prologist Incorporated price objective to $160 from $184 on June 6, but maintained an overweight buy rating on the shares. Number 8. Marathon Oil Corporation 43 Hedge Fund Holders Marathon Oil Corporation should be on investors' radars in 2022 when inflation is at records high since oil and gas equities are gaining and the energy industry has been inflation-proof in the past. Marathon Oil published first quarter earnings on May 4th. EPS of 1.02 surpassed forecasts by four cents. Quarterly sales were $1.75 billion, increasing 63.68% year over year, but below estimates by $80.43 million. Marathon Oil Corporation is an undervalued and dividend-paying investment opportunity. Marathon Oil Corporation has a forward P.E. ratio of 5.19, a trailing 12-month dividend yield of 1.01%, and an 86.42% one-year return. Hedge funds like Marathon Oil, 43 hedge funds revealed, Marathon Oil Corporation positions at Q1, 2022's end. These stakes were worth $1.5 billion, up from $969.1 million, with 40 positions in the previous quarter. Positive attitude 
among hedge funds. Number 7. Barrick Gold Corporation, 45 Hedge Fund Holders Gold and gold stocks are investors' refuge during inflation. Barrick Gold Corporation is one of the world's largest gold mining corporations with solid balance sheets and production numbers. The corporation owns gold mines in Argentina, Canada, Cote d'Ivoire, and DRC, Mali, Tanzania, and the U.S. Barrick Gold reported first quarter earnings on May 4th. The company reported $2.85 billion in revenue, down 3.4% year-over-year, but above of estimates of $105.78 million. The company's 26 cent EPS above expectations by 2 cents. Barrick Gold Corporation reported Q1 gold production of 990,000 ounces, down 10.1% from 1.1 million ounces. Barrick Gold Corporation currently expects 4.2 billion to 4.6 million ounces of gold in 2022. Barclays analyst Matthew Murphy upgraded Barrick Gold Corporation price objective to $28 from $26 and maintained an overweight rating. At Q1 2022's end, 45 hedge funds held $1.37 billion in Barrick Gold Corporation. 46 hedge funds had $958. $0.53 million in Q4 2021. First Eagle Investment Management has $653.26 million in Barrett Gold Corporation as of March 31st. Number 6. Chevron Corporation 53 Hedge Fund Holders Chevron Corporation is another inflation-proof energy investment. Hedge funds increase Chevron stakes. 53 hedge funds held $27.99 billion in Chevron Corporation in Q1 2022. 53 hedge funds had $6.5 billion in Q4 2021. Credit Suisse analyst Manav Gupta raised his price target on Chevron Corporation to $202 from $190 and reiterated an outperform or buy rating. Chevron Corporation has a forward P.E. ratio of 9.11, a dividend yield of 3.65%, and has gained 38.13% in a year. Berkshire Hathaway is CVX's largest stakeholder as of Q1 2022. Berkshire Hathaway increased its CVX stakes by 317% in the first quarter of 2022. Number 5. Newmont Corporation 53 Hedge Fund Holders Newmont produces and explores gold. Copper, silver, zinc, and lead are also explored. The corporation owns mines in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Peru, Suriname, Argentina, Chile, Australia, and Ghana. Canaccord analyst Kerry McCurry cut his Newmont Corporation price objective to $80 from $87 on June 16th. 53 hedge funds were long Newmont Corporation at the end of Q1 2022. The prior quarter had 45 posts, totaling $1.39 billion. Positive attitude among hedge funds. GQG Partners increased its Q4 2021 investments in Newmont Corporation by 183%, bringing them to $2.54 billion and making it the company's largest shareholder. Number 4. Costco Wholesale Corporation 61 Hedge Fund Holders Costco Wholesale Corporation is an inflation-proof investment since it has maintained consumer demand 
despite growing inflation. The company's third quarter revenue for 2022 was announced in April. The firm reported $52.6 billion in revenue, up 16.16% year-over-year, and $1.11 billion above estimates. The company's May 2022 sales allegedly increased. Costco Wholesale Corporation announced May revenues of $18.23 billion, up 16.9% year-over-year. Costco Wholesale Corporation has optimistic analysts. Jeffrey's analyst, Corey Tarlow, boasted his price objective on Costco Wholesale Corporation to $580 from $560 after the firm reported May 2022 sales. Hedge funds are buying Costco shares at the end of Q1 2022. 61 hedge funds had $5.41 billion in Costco Wholesale Corporation. 57 hedge funds had $5.4 billion in Q4 2021. Fisher Asset Management is Costco Wholesale Corporation's largest shareholder, with $2.43 billion as of the first quarter of 2022. Number 3. The Coca-Cola Company, 64 Hedge Fund Holders Coca-Cola is another consumer staple stock to buy to protect against inflation in 2022 due to its solid dividend history and customer demand. Coca-Cola reported first quarter 2022 earnings on April 25th. The company surpassed projections by $0.06 cents per share. The company's quarterly sales were $10.5 billion, up 16.44% year-over-year, and $670.79 million over estimates. As of June 17, the company has returned 6.03% over the past year and has a 2.98% projected dividend yield. 64 hedge funds and $29.17 billion in Coca-Cola at the end of Q1 2022. 70 hedge funds had $28.61 billion in Q4 2021. Berkshire Hathaway owns $24.79 billion in the Coca-Cola company as of Q1 2022. Number 2. The Procter & Gamble Company 72 Hedge Fund Holders Procter & Gamble has maintained consumer spending and demand, despite growing inflation, making it one of the finest stocks to buy in to hedge against inflation. The company topped third-quarter EPS and revenue projections in April. EPS of $1.33 surpassed forecasts by $0.04. Cents. Procter & Gamble reported $19.38 billion in revenue, up 7.02% year-over-year, and $687.76 million over estimates. Morgan Stanley placed Procter & Gamble among the top 15 bear market stocks. Mike Wilson, a Morgan Stanley analyst, has a $177 price target and an overweight rating on P&G. At Q1's 2022's end, 72 hedge funds were long Procter & Gamble. Total fund stakes were $6.06 .06 billion. GQG Partners had the largest holding in Procter & Gamble at $1.51 billion. Number 1. ExxonMobil Corporation 83 hedge fund holders XOM is inexpensive pays dividends, and produces excellent quarters. These are some reasons why this stock is a good inflation hedge. On June 17th, ExxonMobil Corporation had a forward P.E. ratio of 8.88 and a dividend yield of 3.85%. In April, the business reported market-beating first quarter 2022 results. 
the business reported $90.5 billion in revenue, up 53.1% year over year and $5.62 billion above estimates. Credit Suisse analyst Manav Gupta boosted his ExxonMobil Corporation price objective to $115 from $102 on June 7th. The analyst raised his 2022 and 2023 ExxonMobil operating EPS estimates to account for rising natural gas prices and refining earnings. 83 hedge funds owned ExxonMobil shares at the end of Q1 2022. Total stakes were worth $8.55 billion, up from $5.38 billion with 71 positions in the preceding quarter. Positive attitude among hedge funds. GQG Partners is the top ExxonMobil Corporation investor with $4.27 billion, up 60% from Q4 2021. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.